Good morning, everyone. As we are aware about current situation, we are unable to start classes in classroom. But here, we teachers are trying to solve this problem. So, first of all, welcome you all in this new session. Now, here, I am going to teach you class eight biology. But first of all, dear student, I just want to tell you about this book. Now, this year, we are going to start this uh, book. That is a uh, written by Lakhmir Singh. It's a very interesting book. When you will buy, maybe uh, you don't have a book uh, right now, but when you will buy this, you can see this book is very interesting. Now, without that, just I want to start this chapter: creation system in plant. I hope you can see this chapter: transportation system in plant. In that. I have categorized into five points. This chapter we will uh, continue with different sessions. But today, for the first session, we are going to start few topics that I have taken from that chapter. And these topics are photosynthesis, transport, tissue, vascular tissue, absorption of water and mineral, and that one is subdivided into osmosis, diffusion, and active transport. Now. One by one, we will deal with this topic. First of all, photosynthesis. I think you all aware about what is photosynthesis. In previous class also, we have already discussed about this. Photosynthesis in that plant can make their own food by CO2 and water, by chlorophyll utilization of chlorophyll as well as sunlight is essential. Now we all know that photosynthesis process, liberation of oxygen is there, as well as glucose, glucose as a food substance. This is all about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, oxygen that animal can take from plant, that is oxygen, and the second one what? Glucose, that is food particles. Now the first point is over. The second one about transport. In leaf, as we know, photosynthesis process done, and food is already manufactured. Now, what happened with this uh, food for plants? Because plants also necessary food for different uh, activities. As we essential, we need food for our different activities, as well as plant also a living one that also need some uh, energy, and that energy they can take. By utilization of that glucose. In that, we can discuss the second topic is transport. In that, food particles can convey from uh, leaves to different parts of body, as well as as we all aware about water. Water is also absorbed by plants, as we all know that root absorb water. So that is also a kind of transport so water and mineral absorbed by plant as well as food particle prepared in leaf that also transported from one part to other part of plant that one we will discuss in transport third one about tissue to aware about this transport system how it works we should know about tissue last year uh, in seventh class we have discussed in detail about tissue tissue is what group of cells they unite together to do a particular function a special kind of cells are there that one is tissue in that tissue is divided into as uh, you can recall uh, meristematic tissue and permanent tissue we are not going to discuss about uh, meristematic tissue and other things but for permanent tissue, we all aware about xylem and phloem. So, the fourth one, vascular tissue in that xylem and phloem. That one is a kind of permanent tissue is there. Now, we are going to discuss about uh, vascular tissue. That is xylem and phloem. What is xylem and phloem? Xylem is what? It's by xylem, that's a complex uh, tissue we can say, group of uh, cells as well as group of tissues are there to do that kind of fun function. Which kind of function? Absorption of water and minerals. 
And what about phloem? Phloem can transport food particle from leaves to different parts of body. That is a function for uh, the vascular vascular system, and it is very essential. The last one about absorption of water and mineral. How this water and mineral can absorb by plant? Are subdivided into osmosis, diffusion, and active transport. These are the process by which plant can absorb these mineral and water. Now we all aware about uh, root root of plant having cells. Root of plant having cells, and we all know that cell having cell membrane. Cell membrane is selective permeable membrane. That means few only selective things can be transported. So. First process in osmosis. Osmosis is a process in which water can be transported from higher concentration to lower concentration. Now, what is the meaning of this higher concentration or lower concentration? Now, as we are just taking one example, uh, in soil, water content is high, and in root cells, water content is low. So we can say from that soil. That is higher concentration of water is there, and that one is absorbed by cell. That is lower concentration of water. That is the process of osmosis. Second one, diffusion. Diffusion is the same process as osmosis. Then why these two points are there? The difference is that in case of osmosis, only water can be uh, transported, the higher concentration to lower concentration. But in case of diffusion. Water as well as mineral can be transported from higher concentration to lower concentration, and these two osmosis and diffusion, there is no need of energy because flow is from higher concentration to lower concentration. It's very easy. But the last one, active transport. Active transport in that the. Uh, Molecules or substances can be transferred from lower concentration to higher concentration. That means against concentration gradient. So, in case of active transport, we need energy. And the in these two, energy is not required. But in case of active transport, energy is required. So. For this session, this one is enough. For next session, we will start with the new topic. So, for this, thank you so much.